Hi, this is Donna Short Short Trailer. Claudia is working in the other room. Anyway, I want to say hi, and I want you to see this next video about Fern Canyon. It's been six months since we put a video on. The last one you saw, we were talking about whether or not our cat Molly could make the trip or not. Well, I need to tell you, we didn't make that trip. It wasn't Molly. It was me. And anyway, not this video, but the next one will fill you in on the whole story of why we didn't go on that wonderful trip. Wasn't Molly. Hi, we're off to Fern Canyon today. One of the coolest places in the world. Got to be on your bucket list and come with us. You're going to love it. Yeah, let's go. We'll start our drive today on US 101 on the northern part of California from Crescent City down Highway 101 through the Redwood National Forest and amazing scenic giant redwood trees that go along to the coast and we'll drive through till the town of Klamath and just beyond we'll be looking for our first sign. Here's your sign. Watch for the turn lane to the right and the big clearing out of the trees and then turn into the beginning of what's going to be your campsite. Here it is, prepare to turn right. Flash, what's to come? Fern Canyon. Continue on. You are now entering Prairie Creek Redwood State Park and Elk Prairie Campground. You are going to find an excellent plate for camping and the first night before Fern Canyon. Register and find your site. Set up camp, have dinner, relax, and prepare for the next day's drive. Here we are the next day, ready for our journey to Fern Canyon. entrance, turn right and head down the road toward your journey. Does nature form its wonders that we come to see? In this case, several millennia ago, great volcanoes erupted and lava flows came tumbling down the sides of the mountains, carrying boulders and ash 
creating what is called control. Then rains came, and a great rush of water cut a deep canyon straight through this ash right down to the bedrock, 50 feet deep, and created great straight canyon walls. Next, nature grew ferns and plants and vines and trees to fill this canyon in with a lush curtain walls on either side. Here you see a 50-foot wall covered with moss with a tiny, tiny stream at the top and when it runs over it falls and raindrops across the moss like little diamond places flickling down towards the ground. Walked with me for a while. You just walk, look, and listen. Imagine, several hundred years ago, you were the very first the person to walk through this canyon. You would look left and right and up and down, and maybe you said, hmm, Fern Canyon. A couple of years ago, Steven Sealsberg walked through this canyon and he thought, you know what, this needs to be in my next movie of Jurassic Park. Watch the movie and see if you can see the scenes that were put in. <laughs> 